In this video, we are going to be looking at a really easy way that PHP allows us to format numbers, particularly large numbers or numbers with uh, a large amount of digits after the decimal point. And we can shorten these and we can make numbers look a bit more user friendly uh, using this particular function. And I'll be going through the function the um, parameters that this function takes so we'll be looking at the different options that we have and we'll be doing all our work sort of here and just outputting uh, certain bits and bobs so the first thing to do is create a variable that holds a large number so I'm going to create a variable called num now I can just go ahead and write anything really I'm going to do 25,123 point in fact we'll leave out the point just for now Okay, so if I was to go ahead and echo this out, so I have and then num. So this is basically a pound symbol, an HTML entity for a pound symbol. So this is going to read, I have uh, 25,123 pounds. So let's go ahead and pre just preview that. There we go. So I have 25,123 pounds. Now, the correct way to display this to a user would perhaps be to take the 25, place a comma afterwards, and then have the 123 separate from this. But, you know, there's no real easy way of doing this without a lot of if statements and just generally a load of conditional statements. So PHP gives us a function called number underscore format. So I'm just going to go ahead and enclose this in here. Now, if I don't supply any options to this, that's absolutely fine. We don't need to pass any additional parameters apart from the number itself. Let's just go ahead and see what this has done. So you'll see it automatically adds this comma in here. Now, if I were to go ahead and change this to 25,123,567, for example, when we preview this now, we can see the comma has been automatically added in. So this now reads like, you know, an actual number. Now what happens if we have decimal places? Um, so now we're sort of getting into the more, uh, the, or the different parameters that we can pass through to this function. I'm just going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. It doesn't make sense. I know, but you know, we'll, we'll stick with this just as an example. So here you'll see that when I refresh, nothing happens. And that's because I need to pass through an additional option here. Uh, and that is how many decimal places or, or numbers after the decimal point to display or characters, if you like. So I'm going to choose here uh, three. Now we'll expect to now see this number 0.123. So let's go ahead and preview that. There we go. So we've got point, point 0.123. So it's automatically added in a dot. We can change this dot notation as well because different countries uh, display things differently. Some don't use commas here. Some use commas for this. Uh, it's different. Um, but for a number here, for a, um, an amount of money, this is just I just want this to be two decimal places. So I can go ahead and change this to, oops, not Q, two. So now it looks like this. So 25,123,567 point 12 so I assume 12 pence here okay so now we've got two additional parameters that we can pass through here and that will control as I mentioned briefly a moment ago this comma and this dot so if I was to for example say um, dot here and comma here this would be how it's displayed at the moment so when I refresh you see nothing's changed so we've passed through these additional um, parameters here, they're strings. So here, instead of a dot, I could do something like uh, a space, for example. Now you'll see now, instead of that dot there, that's just removed that and put a space. In actual fact, we could change this to a comma and we could change this to a dot. So now this will look like this. So we've got 25.123567,12, or we could just remove this all together and I think that's, oh no, sorry, let me just remove this all together, keep this here, and we have a whole different way of um, displaying a number. So that's the control you get over that. 
uh, and uh, essentially that is the number format function and how we can format different numbers here and you can see we can pass uh, a, a, well the number that we want to format the amount of decimal places and the uh, two uh, signifiers of thousands and then the decimal point so we can modify the thousand uh, symbol and the decimal place symbol